Hi, my name's Teresa and this is The Week That Was. Hi guys, I'm Maddie from Sell and Style. I'm super excited to be back this week after having COVID last week and ready to jump into a super busy week. So we've just finished Easter and now the market is getting back to normal and we are booked and busy with over five installs per day for the rest of this week. So this week we're going to be learning from Sarah on how to style a living room step by step. We're also going to be giving you a sneak peek of some exciting content that we're filming with Agent Sim Gill. And we'll also be checking out the house of the week in Wynnum. Hi everyone, Sarah here. Today we wanted to take you through the process of how we stage a living space. We're going to work with this space today, so let's go and see how we do it. So to start off with, we like to analyse the space to get a good understanding on the size and the layout that we're going to do. We'll use a rug to help us determine where the centre of the space is, and that also helps to create a good section for the space. Firstly, in this space, we've popped down a really big rug. So this is a big room, so we're looking at a four by three metre rug in this space. Then we have positioned two large, bulky, big scale three-seater lounges, and these foundations really help us to determine what the layout of the space is and what the feel and how the space is best going to be engaged with and photographed from a stage to sell perspective. So once we've established the layout of the space, we've then positioned the artwork in the center of the room. This is going to be the most impactful place for this artwork as it is quite a statement piece. It is large and matches the scale of the furniture and it really helps to give your space a sense of emotion and feel. We've chosen this piece because of the colours. The soft blues and the greys really help to flow through in this space and are going to be highlighted throughout the rest of the furnishings in this room. Now that we have established our focal point of the room, being the artwork, we then introduce a large scale coffee table. This coffee table that we've shown is quite big and it matches the scale of the lounges and also the rug space. As for the colours, we've chosen an ash grey timber coffee table which helps to highlight and draws out the greys in the artwork and the lounges. We've topped it off with some white accessories that you can see in the frame of the artwork and that helps to brighten the space. We've also followed that through with a couple of accessories for the coffee table. The next thing that we focus on will be light placement. We love to use lamps in living spaces and corners that maybe are a little bit dark. They help to add an extra ambience and they give us another point of interest and height in the space. In this room, we have chosen a rattan shade on a black frame, which gives a little bit of contrast in the room and the rattan really fits in with that modern coastal vibe. So here it is. From here, it's all about filling in those little spaces with your extra pieces. Side tables and occasional chairs really help to fill the space, um, create that section and that balance in the room. They're your opportunity to bring in a little bit of different texture, contrast, color, pattern, a bit of fun. In this space, we have chosen some very on-trend occasional chairs in a light powder blue color. And they really help to draw in the blues and go in with that modern coastal vibe and really pick up that on the artwork. Now we like to do all of our soft furnishings and add a little bit of interest and texture, as well as introduce the colors with our cushions. In this particular space, we have chosen a lot of linens, cottons, some cotton knit textures with some tassels to add a little bit of interest and, and warmth there. We've chosen some feather filled cushions in here because it gives us a nice plush feel and a good shape in the, in the cushions as well. We've also added in some little decor pieces which help to draw the eye and add interest throughout the space. And now for our final step, we love to add a little bit of greenery. So for this space, sticking in with the coastal theme, we've chosen to go with two of the palms. These are in two different sizes and the reason being is it helps to balance out the height that we've got in the far corner is a much larger palm than the one that's in the corner with the lamp. This helps to really add the greenery to the space and a really good way of adding bulk and bringing in some green life into a space. That's all we've got for you today. Thank you so much for styling with us. We hope that you have enjoyed this video.
doing today? Hey guys, um, today is really busy. We've got five installs, one of them being a five bedroom, uh, massive property. Uh, everyone has decided to style their houses right after Easter, of course, which is fine. And the rest of the week is absolutely insane. We've got minimum four installs a day. So we're on the go at the moment. Thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure you check out our links in the description box below and we'll see you next week.